Hello, I'm Ashima. Welcome to my book pen. I'm so excited to be back with another book review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Narcissistic Romanticism by Piyush Rohanka. It's a poetry collection consisting of 89 poems about love and life. And I want to thank the author for sending this beautiful copy my way. So I enjoyed it for the most part. So let's talk about it. First, we'll talk about the structure. So the one thing that I like about this poetry collection is the structure because um, it, it's been a long time in uh, at least contemporary poetry that I have come across full length poems. So I do not like poems that run for 10 pages, but I also hate it. And there are just three words on a page. It's a waste of paper. So the structure, although the poems are free verse, they have a flow, they have a rhythm to them, which I love. And there are no loose ends. They're very whole in themselves, very concrete. And the structure is very crisp. So I love the structure of the poems in here. Then the one, some of the poems are also very vivid, which I love. Okay, so I love it when words can make me see things for myself. So there's a poem called Anne, where it reads like, I like to watch her bathe in the million morning drops of yellow falling from the half-baked Sunday morning sun. And I'm so jealous of the pillows and bed sheets and winds for they get to kiss her wherever they feel. So, so these poems can be divided into poems about life and love. So the ones about life, they have a lot of themes in them because there's a uh, talk about how the formative years are spent in worrying about the future, what it holds for us, what is our legacy, what will we leave on this earth, what will be a footprint and uh, our stories, are they mortal and it's very relevant because I posted one of the poems from here, it's called uh, Socially Transmitted Disease and so many of you <laughs> responded to that story. It was so relevant for all of us. It goes like the finest moments of my youth wasted in too much of planning and too less of living, worried about the comforts of tomorrow and now I nurse some verses in my heart about my youth that has fallen apart. All the battles of my prime, I fought them from the confinements of my room. Many I lost and few I won, only to realize it was never my war. It was so relevant for so many of you and for me too. So the age, the formative years, the age to learn and experience new things, it's spent in worrying about the future because our education system, our academia is structured that way. Then the poems about love can be divided into a lot of categories. So the first is where um, they're describing the person, they're in awe of them and so the first poem in the collection itself is so beautiful. It goes like, in all the falling stars that I saw as a child, I found them at her feet and my joy to watch her dance over them in a caramel. She's the romance of a winter love story, the picture of a million memories, the blood of God flows through her heart. The space in between her arms is the doorway to heaven, the light for my mornings comes from a smile oh to love her is like a journey a journey of a million miles so some of the poems are very beautiful they see this beloved as a person and they're in awe of them and uh, they describe them very vividly so it's very beautifully written but then some are very problematic for me so i would like to get that point across as well because there could be two subcategories in this so one is where they describe the beloved as uh, this fallen princess, damsel in distress, hot mess kind of girl and the other is where they describe them as a manic pixie dream girl, always happy, too pure to be on this earth and whatnot. So a lot of poems, like one of the poems, oh my god, I just, it was outright disgusting. It's a girl without a cure. So basically they are questioning a girl's choices of clothing, of perfumery or whatever. I don't know what's wrong but so poetry is very subjective. You have to remember that and also reviewing it feels like some reviewing someone's life because poetry is, comes from a very personal place. So I'm trying not to be too harsh but um, a lot of the poems were worth it. There are a lot of good poems in this collection. So all in all, the poetry collection is good because it's a balanced poetry collection because I, there were not a lot of poems which I hated, thank God. 
a lot of poems were really good they were beautiful and they rung true to the reader so i would give this poetry collection three stars easily and uh, the purchasing link will be down in the description box below if you want to buy it for yourself so i uh, before i do the whole charade <laughs> i want to address a lot of things here so first i know i have not been making a lot of content lately it's not because i am lazy i am lazy that's also a bit of it but also because the video ideas that i have in my mind they need a lot of resources so i want to do something about libraries about libraries and schools how uh, what is the status of reading in schools how it can be held those sort of things also they need time to be made and a lot of people should be involved in that so i need to seek out permissions and some things like that so all in all <laughs> i'm trying to make good content i'm trying to make my content better okay and secondly i know i have a book club and uh, i am not running it as smoothly as i would like but uh, the current read the current pick of our book club is the latest book by chandrahas chaudhary it's called days of my china dragon so if you want to participate if you want to join in please purchase the book uh, the link will be in my community post you can buy it from there and thirdly i have been receiving a lot of emails from you guys and thank you so much for responding to my videos for liking them so much uh, liking them enough to take out time from your day and writing me lengthy emails evaluating my videos i love reading those and i hope i have responded to all of you if i have not i will be doing it today so thank you so much for tuning into my channel every now and then to see my videos that's it <laughs> now we'll be doing the charade so if you like the video like the video subscribe for more bookish content and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> Turn my mood again. Your chance.